We are here um, in Jaipur taking this bus, which is right behind me, that bus. So apparently you can sleep on that bus. So we are going to head to Jaisalmer on that bus now. I'll show you what that bus looks like in a minute. This is the bus. You can sit here or you can sleep here. This is the bed, it's a double bed. So we decided to go on the top bunk of the bus. Bye bye Jaipur. We're going to Jaisalmer. So the bathroom stop is at uh, one of these snack shops, which is probably my least favorite part of this journey. So as we were heading into Jaisalmer, the scenery was getting more rural and more desert-like, which was really interesting. It was an interesting experience to just lie on the bus and look out at the scenery as we passed by. So almost 12 hours later, we arrived in Jaisalmer. And as we arrived, we took a local rickshaw or tuk-tuk to go to the hotel. So the hotel that we are staying in is located at the top of the Jaisalmer fort. So the drive up there was quite uphill as it was located at the top. Uh, and we could see uh, some local street vendors and we passed through some narrow lanes. and. Uh, after a rocky ride, we arrived here at the hotel. So we have arrived here in Jaisalmer. Today we are in Jaisalmer. Uh, we arrived here this morning. Uh, we took overnight bus from Jaipur to get here. The bus journey uh, was uh, more comfortable than what I thought. Uh, because when I thought about a sleeper, a sleeper bus, I thought it's going to be something like a recliner seat but it was actually a double bed uh, we were able to sleep on so that was really nice uh, the only thing with that uh, bus is because it's such a long journey uh, and bus only stops probably two two or three times during the whole journey and there is no bathroom on the bus but you know other than that the journey i think was quite comfortable uh, so we are here uh, now in our hotel uh, and this is you know i'll show you what my room looks like in a minute so I wanted to show you what this door looks like for the room. I think it's a really beautiful uh, decorative door. The design is beautiful. Carved into the wood and some copper handles. So that's nice. And as you open that door, this is our room. So it's a nice comfy double bed. And the most interesting part is the balcony where you can see the view of Jaisalmer. So the plan for today, first we are going to have some breakfast and then go and explore the city a bit more. You can see the view here is magnificent. We are staying in one of these hotels. It's called Hotel Surya and it's uh, located at the top of this fort. And hence the view is so nice here at the back. So that's good. And I'm really, really hungry. So I'm looking forward to eat some uh, traditional breakfast here. So I'm going up these narrow steps to go up to the breakfast area where they have a little restaurant and there are some dining arrangements which are right, really cozy with a beautiful view as well and some steps going right up as well but since it's uh, sort of midday we are going to stay indoors to have our breakfast a few minutes later uh, our breakfast arrived so we got some tea these are some onion bhajis so one of the popular dish is shave sabzi so shave is lentil noodles cooked with onion spices uh, and some tomatoes with roti which is really nice we are now heading out for uh, ex exploring jaisalmer uh, our guide is here already and it's really really hot it's uh, midday almost midday 12 o'clock in the afternoon and the temperature is probably 32 degrees Celsius and it's going to go up to as high as 36 degrees Celsius this afternoon. So it's really, really hot. So our first stop is Jaisalmer Fort Museum. 
So uh, the entry fee for Jaisalmer Fort is fifty rupees per person for Indians, and two hundred and fifty rupees per person for foreign nationals. Plus, if you are taking a video camera, it's hundred rupees per person. So we are in Jaisalmer Fort now. Uh, so this is Jaisalmer Fort Museum, uh, and it's a fascinating building. I think this is where the kings used to sit. So Jaisalmer Fort is the second oldest fort in Rajasthan which was built in uh, 1100th century by Rajput Jaisal uh, so basically in the modern days uh, the fort uh, holds one fourth of city's population who resides inside the fort which is quite interesting what i found interesting is that the fort itself has uh, lots of shops restaurants hotels and variety of other things inside the fort itself so it's quite an interesting experience to spend a day here at jaisalmer fort so we are at the highest point here at uh, jaisalmer fort museum and from above you can see lots of forts palaces the entire city really and way behind there it's, it's the khar uh, desert uh, that you can see in the distance and on this side uh, behind me uh, it, if you go 130 kilometers that way it's a uh, pakistan border so our next stop is jain temple at uh, jaisalmer fort so the jain temple is an architectural wonder as you can see intricate designs on the walls uh, it's absolutely beautiful now they gave me something to wear because i was wearing my shorts so i had to cover myself up uh, now we are back in the city and we are going to visit a lake uh, nearby and after that we are going to visit a baby so the cost of this tuk tuk was included in uh, our cost of the guide that we paid which was 1500 rupees for the day including guide and the tuk tuk it's the most reasonable form of transport here in rajasthan or all over india and soon we arrived at our next stop which is lake gadisar so we are now at lake gadisar and apparently it's a man made lake because uh, this location is right in the desert there used to be shortage of water so they created this man made lake so people used to drink water from this lake in the past not anymore uh, but yeah it's a, it's a really beautiful lake here quite big as well you can see there are so many fishes there in the lake and people are feeding the fishes <laughs> look you can also go on a boat trip here you can hire a boat and go for a sail around the lake so we saw some people who were doing that and this is a random hotel here in the city which i thought was beautiful after exploring the lake we headed to patwaki haveli so this is a really really beautiful building here uh, haveli means an old house and this is the view from patwaki haveli I have no idea how they created these beautiful buildings back in the day. Look at these designs, it's absolutely amazing. So we are in a uh, Patwaki Haveli. So Patwa means a person who works with gold and silver and Haveli means old house. So we are visiting this beautiful place. Uh behind me you can see bicycle uh that came from Britain. Uh so this place is approximately 230 years old. So this looks like a nice bed and then we headed to another room. So this is a dressing room so I can see an iron, some clothes hanging there and a dressing table. Then these are some pots that they used to collect rainwater. This this is a nice lovely kitchen here. There are lots of nice things, interesting things. This is the most interesting place I found here. uh because i can relate a lot of things i can relate to things like orange juice so then they said that thing is an ice cream maker and then that looks like some sort of a cooking stove so that thing is a grinder 
So you can grind grains with it to make flour. Then this is another room. And there are some nice couches, a heater, and look at the roof. It's absolutely amazing. Then this other room has a chessboard and some nice seating area. Best part as always, the view from the top. So after exploring Patwaki Haveli, we headed to a local handloom store because my brother wanted to get a nice rug and they have really nice handmade rugs here and it was really nice to see these beautiful rugs. So it is uh, 6.15 in the evening. Uh, we got back from exploring uh, approximately an hour ago and the sun is already setting so I'm going to go up to the terrace uh, of this hotel and see what the view, views look like. So let's go. This place reminds me a little bit of Santorini. So it's a Santorini of India. So that's the desert in the distance. It's so nice and peaceful here. I can sit here for hours just admiring this beautiful view. Later on in the evening, we decided to explore the local streets. It is about 7 o'clock in the evening now and we are just walking past the little streets here, looking at these little souvenir shops on the streets. The streets are nicely lit up, so it's a really pleasant walk. And to end the day, we enjoyed a really nice dinner at the hotel. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and turn the notifications on so you won't miss my next video. Also, please like and comment as it really supports my channel. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.